Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're joining me today. I hope you've been having a good week and I hope you have a good weekend. So today, of course, we have another Timu haul and yeah, <laughs> what else would it be, right? If there's any of you who have not, well, I know there's some of you out there who haven't checked out my, my video that I did, the collaboration with Irresistible Me, uh, please, please go check them out. I am wearing my hair topper today in this video and I absolutely love it. I think it's very natural. So go check that out if you haven't, please. And of course, as per usual, we have to do our usual if you're not subscribed to my channel <laughs> and you're watching my videos <laughs> and you enjoy them, please consider subscribing. I would appreciate it so, so much. We're at 760-ish subscribers currently, and uh, yeah, we're getting that little bit closer to 1,000, so that would be absolutely amazing if we can get to 1,000, so. All right, as per usual, all of the items will be listed down in my description box, as well as my affiliate code and my affiliate link. So if you are new to Timu and you download the app using my links and use my code, you will get 30% off your first order as well as a $100 coupon bundle to use towards future purchases. So gotta love the deals you can get on Timu. It's uh, really, really, really good deals. <laughs> then not to say there's not some misses out there on Timu, but yeah, for the most part, they have great stuff at great prices, so. All right, let's get started then. Okay, so our first item today is a set of magnet magnetic cable organizers, and it's these little things here. You do get a, I got a pack of six, and I got them in this really pretty bluish color, and I paid $4.94 for the set of six. Currently, it is $5.48 for a set of six. And you can get them in this color here or a orange color or a purple color. I just really like this color. <laughs> I mean, if they did pink, that's what I would have got, but they didn't. So you can also get them in different quantities and different combinations. So I got all of this color. You can get all orange, all purple, or you can get a package that's a mixture. And you can get just one on its own for $2.48, or you can buy a package of 12, which gives you three of, no, four of each color. And that is $10.48 currently. So they are just under an inch square. And they come with a little sheet with little stickies on there. So you just attach it, obviously, and then to wherever you're doing it, attaching it to. And then it has like a little magnet in here on the top and bottom so that when it closes, it's, you know, it's closed good. And I really liked that because I do have some of the cord organizers that are just, you know, they're kind of silicone and they just kind of have, a, they kind of go together, but there's still an opening. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but, you know, and you just push the wire in there. And I just find that there's lots of times, whether you're plugging your device in or unplugging it, that the wire ends up coming out. So I just thought this, with the fact that it's got a lid and it's magnetic, it's not gonna pop open easily. And yeah, it'll just help keep the cord in place for you. So yeah, I thought these were a good deal and I think they're super cute too. <laughs> Our next item is a sun protection jacket. So it's just a lightweight jacket that I guess the fabric is made so that it's supposed to protect you from sun. And I got it in this light gray color. I paid $11.04 for this. It is currently $11.89 for the light gray color. It is available in nine other colors and the prices range from $10.70 to $14.27 depending on the color. So the one that I bought here is actually from the men's section. And the reason I did that is just because they look basically, I mean, they look identical. They have it for women and they have it for men and they look the exact same. Uh, but at the time that I was purchasing this, 
the woman's one was over $20. So I'm thinking, oh, I could pay $11 for a men's one or $20 for a woman's one. Hmm, which should I do? So yeah, of course I decided to go with the men's and they have them in the exact same colors. Uh, they just, I don't know. I, do, I don't really know. The size chart shows it being slightly different but I don't know if that's the case or not, obviously, because I didn't get the woman's one. So because I bought it from the men's section, <coughs> excuse me, I bought it in a XXXL, so 3XL. And it is relatively nice. It has this little section, it has a hood. So, and there's a little hole in the back of the hood so that you can, stick your ponytail out if you want maybe it provides some ventilation I don't know and then it also has kind of like the brim of a cap so like a little extra piece here it is attached by a zipper so you can remove that if you don't like that on there or if you just don't need it it does have a finger hole a thumb hole on the sleeve and a zip zips all the way down and there are pockets and these those also have zips on them so you'll see on the try-on clip I, I would I've preferred it to be a little bit bigger yes but probably I would never have it zipped up anyway so I'm not too bothered about the size of it that way but the sleeves are way too long and as I said I got the men's one, whether that's because it was the men's one and maybe the woman's version would have had shorter sleeves, I really don't know. But it is good quality. It is nice and lightweight. I obviously can't speak to whether or not it actually does protect you from the sun, but I definitely think that, you know, if what you're wanting is some protection, that this would be a great kind of jacket because of how light it is. because. Obviously, a lot of times when it's sunny, it's going to be warm and you don't necessarily want a heavy coat on. So this is super, super light and it is nice quality. And for $11, $11 if you're buying it from the men's section, currently on the women's side, it was $16.39. So not quite as much more, but still about five bucks more. So um, <laughs> it actually was funny. I was looking at the women's and they were referring to the hole in the back of the hood that you can put your ponytail through <laughs> and they called it a humanized hidden hair hole. <laughs> like what? Humanized, humanized hidden hair hole. <laughs> so anyway, it is definitely nice quality so it's a great deal for the price i'm thinking i might just return it just because the sleeves are so long i don't know if i'll try the women's one to see if it's different maybe i didn't go back and look at the size chart i don't know if the size chart has the sleeve length in it but if it does i, I will check it and if it, it does when i check it i will put a little note on the screen as to whether or not there is a difference in the sleeve length between the men's and women's version but yeah it is good quality if you like the look of it the next item that i got was this little purse it is genuine leather and it is a crossbody purse i paid twenty dollars and 99 cents for this i did get 475 in price adjustments on it now it is discontinued in this color i did see that they still have it in black so the link that i have down in my description box will just be taking you to the black version because this one is not available i don't even know what they call this color at this point because it's not listed anymore but yeah so it is a nice it's small it's uh only it's under eight inches in length and it's just over five inches in height so it is a pretty small bag but you know it's a crossbody and Really, if your bag is bigger, it generally uh, ends up just being that you shove more stuff in it. <laughs> so, let's see here. It does come with two straps. 
so it comes with a long one for wearing it cross body it is a very thin strap so I mean I don't necessarily like that but at the same time with it being such a small purse maybe a thick chunkier band would have looked a little silly with it I don't know and then it does also have just a little wristlet type attachment for it so it's got two zippered compartments on the top part the one side just has a little slip pocket on the one side and then on the other side you do have a zippered pocket in here it does also have a zip pouch on the outside on this side so it is a cute little purse and for you know $15 ultimately basically that I paid for it I think it's definitely worth it with it being leather uh, I do think the black one is also very nice there are other ones on Timu that are very very similar those are I think around $20 so I don't the fact that this is discontinued and I don't think they had a lot of the black left I'm guessing that it's maybe the newer version of this purse that's available for around $20 so yeah I, I do think it is worth it though and it's good quality so if you like the black one you can definitely snag that one at a cheaper price if you don't get the black one and you but you like it there is something very similar on it right on to me right now that you can get so super cute the next item i have is an item that my daughter wanted and it is a pair of sunglasses so this is what they look like here. We paid $5.93 for these. Currently they are $8.48 and they come in three different colors. They come in ones with, I think the metal part uh, is also slightly different on them as well, but they basically the difference is there is ones with a yellow lens, ones with a black lens, and then these that are kind of a brownish color that they call it tea is what the color is. Now, it did, and it did come with a little case, so that's nice for storing them in. My only thing with these would be that they state in the listing that they're fashion glasses. So it doesn't mention anything in the, in the listing about them being polarized <clears throat> or, you know, having UV protection. So I'm going to say the fact that they don't mention it, that they probably don't. So... I, I mean, my daughter, I'm going to make sure my daughter is aware of that because I certainly don't want her wearing them outside, like outside a lot if she's going to be out in the sun for a long time because that could just end up damaging her eyes if she puts these sunglasses on and, and they don't have any protection built into them. So I will check with her. I'm not sure if she will decide that she wants to keep them if that's the case. Uh, if she doesn't then we will just return them and she can get some somewhere else that do have that protection but yeah there's there's nothing on here to indicate that they have that so I'm going to err on the side of being cautious and assume that they do not have that but they are super cute I mean they're not mine but <laughs> I will try them on for you so yeah, I think they're cute they're comfortable but yeah I just I don't know if they don't have any kind of protection then that's really not a good thing <laughs> so even for a cheap cheap price so the next item I got is another thing that my daughter wanted and it is a flag we paid $4.39 for it we did get a price adjustment currently it is $3.95 um, I'm probably not gonna hold it all the way out because it's three foot by five foot so <laughs> It's going to be kind of hard for me to hold that up and show it. Um, but yeah, so it, this is it here. It is, seems like okay quality, just feels like any other flag. It does have grommets on it for hanging it up. It's maybe, it maybe does feel a little bit cheaper than, than some flags that I've felt before, but it's pretty much kind of like umbrella material, really. But yeah, seems fairly good and cheap price so she wanted it I think to hang up in her room so we got her <laughs> this next item is also for my daughter <laughs> and it is a set of watch straps so it came with three we paid $3.91 for these we did get a price adjustment currently it is $3.97 for them 
So on the listing that we purchased from, there was only this set. So it has this kind of army green color, a black one and a gray. There are other listings on Timu that have the same, I mean, it could be the same seller, just different listings. And I'm sure there are some other sellers as well, but there are other listings that have other colors. Uh, there's some with patterned ones and stuff too. It is supposed to, because this part is slides, so you can adjust the size of the band. It is, <coughs> excuse me, it is supposed to fit wrists between four and a half inches up to nine and a half inches. So, I mean, that's a huge range, so that's good. And then it does also come with the two different sized bits for attaching to your watch face, depending on what size watch face you have. So, yeah. A Timu is a great place for getting watch straps for your for Apple watches. They are nice quality. Any ones that I've bought have been pretty darn good and yeah, great prices for them. So I definitely recommend recommend watch straps from Timu. So the next item that I got was a jewelry box. I paid $803 for this. It is currently $976 for the black version that I got. You can also get it in white for $9.76, or they have a pink version that is currently $9.34. So it is about eight inches wide, almost six inches tall, and about two inches deep. It is a wooden box. Um, I don't know if it'd be like a really thin faux leather maybe that's on it, but it is made of wood, and then it has this snap closure. And then you open it up and it has the space for hanging necklaces on with a little pouch for the pendant part of the necklace. It has lots of spaces for rings and then has this section here that uh, these are removable so you can take them out or move them around to fit whatever you're using it for. I mainly wanted this because <laughs> I bought too many rings on Timu. <laughs> so. I have too many rings for the jewelry box that I currently have. So I wanted one that had a fairly big area for putting rings in. So that's why I purchased this. And yeah, I think it looks nice. I think it looks pretty classy and it seems good quality and I'm happy with it. So yeah, it'll be good. And it snaps nice and secure. The next item that I got was a magnetic phone case. I had previously purchased one that had sort of a same sort of floral design on it, but it didn't have the magnet in it. And my, like my phone has that built into it. So I wanted, I, wa I kind of wanted to get one that had that magnet in there. I paid $10.98 for this. I did get an almost $2 price adjustment on it. It is currently $9.44. You can get it for 15 different iPhone models. All of them are the same price for all 944 and as well as the case it comes with this little card wallet too so you can attach that to the case I'm not sure if this little thing in here is just like a fake card or whether it's something to uh, for attaching it I think it's just for a fake card so I don't know, there doesn't seem to be anything with it for attaching it. Oh, it's magnetic. <laughs> so yeah, so this is, this is magnetic. So it will stick on the back of the phone case. It, hmm, that magnet's not feeling super, super strong. Hopefully the magnet is strong enough that when I put my phone in it and put it on my charger, cause it'll be sitting kind of like this kind of angle in it that hopefully the magnet is going to be strong enough to hold it onto the charger. If it's not, then I, I will send it back because that's not that's not going to work very good. I don't know if I would ever use this. I tend to always have my purse with me, but I guess for the odd time, if you're just running out and just need your driver's license and a credit card with you or something, your bank card with you, it would be ideal. I didn't notice on the listing that it has like words on these. So it says the same thing on both of them. And that is 
there are always flowers for those who want to see them. Which is kind of <laughs> kind of a dumb <laughs> phrase. So I don't know if I could get that off. I mean, it goes over top of where the flowers are, some of the flowers. So I think if I tried to get the writing off, I would probably mess up the flowers in that area. So uh, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, most people are never going to be able to read what that says. So it's not that big of a deal, I guess, that it says some weird random quote. But yeah, otherwise, it seems fairly nice. We'll just have to check to see how this magnet is. I mean, it's strong enough for holding that, but whether it's strong enough to keep it on my charger when I'm wanting to charge my phone, that will be the deciding factor on whether or not I end up keeping it. The next item that I got was a makeup storage drawer set. <laughs> I, pay, I paid $7.74 for this. Currently it is $15.29. I know there was some sort of deal I got on it. I can't remember exactly what it was, but anyway, so it's $15.29 for the one that I got, which has three drawers in it. They also have it with one, like where it's just one drawer or with two drawers. Both of those ones are $14.66. Now, all three of them, the overall box size is the same. So it's about nine and a quarter inches long five and a third inches deep and 4.1 inches tall. So like I said, so the one drawer one is just one deep drawer. The two drawer one, I'm not sure if they're both the exact same size drawer, but yeah, so it's just two drawers in the same size box. And then this one is three. So these are pretty shallow drawers. I was thinking when I, when I ordered this, the reason I got the style that I got was because I was thinking I was going to use it for pens and markers and stuff like I have I have Cricut branded pens that I have for using with my Cricut machine I have some fine tip sharpies and stuff like that and I had been storing them upright like with the lid down but upright and uh, I don't know I just I wanted to maybe a container to lay them flat in so I was thinking I might use this but if you caught my a previous haul recently, I don't know if it was the last one, I got another makeup organizer and it's plastic as opposed to the acrylic and I really like the acrylic better. So I might change and use this acrylic one for makeup and just use the other one for pens, I'm not sure. Not that that matters to any of you, but <laughs> I just thought I would share. <laughs> the next item I got is this Pop Feel Foundation. I paid $3.81 for it. I did get price adjustments. It is currently $2.91 for it. And this is color changing foundation. So it is a fairly small bottle. It is just a one ounce or 30 mils in size. It says it is suitable for medium to light skin tones. So that's that would be me. <laughs> um, and it's supposed to give medium coverage. Uh, typically I wouldn't buy something like this because I don't see how <laughs> how it's supposed to match whoever's using it so I don't know I but it was cheap so I thought you know what what the heck let's give it a try the reviews on it were pretty good so I did use it today and yeah I mean it did apparently match my skin tone so I'll put a little bit on my hand here so it does go on white come out white if I can get it to come out <laughs> there we go so you can see that it's white there and then just as you rub it in it starts to change and match to your skin tone so yeah I, I don't know what this witchcraft or wizardly is <laughs> wizardly wizard wizardly wizardry wizardry <laughs> I don't know what that is but yeah, it matches to your skin. So yeah, I did like it. It is, like I said, a teeny little bottle. And with it being a teeny little bottle, I had to shake it a bunch to get stuff to the foundation to start coming out of it. So 
I really don't think there is much in there. I definitely think if they had it in a larger size, it would make more sense. I would buy it again in a larger size. I mean, I might buy it again in this small size because I do like it. But yeah, I don't know why they don't maybe have multiple different sizes of items like this. So you can buy a little one if you just want to give it a try, but then if you decide that it's something that you like and you want to get it again, that you can buy a bigger size and you're okay with paying more money for it because you know you like it. So maybe I should send that as a <laughs> suggestion to Timu. But yeah, so I do recommend this. I think it is uh, good stuff. I like it. So the next item that I got is some hairline shadow powder. I paid $2.79 for this. I did get a price adjustment. The current price is $2.03, so excellent deal on it. Uh, on the listing I purchased from, it is only available in three different colors. So they have like a light brown, a darker brown, which they refer to as dark coffee, and then a black. So all of the colors are currently $2.03 if you're buying them individually. They did have a bundle of um, two of the dark coffee and two black, and that was $7.71. I really like this stuff. I have mentioned it before. I have purchased it before. So this I bought back, I believe it was in November. And I really was kind of disappointed when I first got it because the little puff is in the bottom and then like that goes in fairly far to fit the puff so I was thinking you know there's really very little product in here so I thought it's not gonna last any length of time but yeah I've had this since November and it's just starting to show the bottom of the container through it so and I use it not every day because I don't I pretty much just use it if I'm putting on my hair topper so I'd say, you know, three, four times a week, I use this and I've had it since November. So as much as it doesn't have a lot of product in it, clearly you don't need a ton of product when you're using it. So I think this is great. And if you can get it for 203, which is why I went ahead and purchased it. Well, I guess it wasn't. I paid 279 thinking I was getting a good deal. Now it is 203, but yeah, I, it's excellent. I really, really like it and definitely recommend it. I'm sure there's other sellers or other listings on Timu that probably have a wider range of colors. It just so happens that the one that I purchased it from just had the three. The next item I have is some shower gel. So this is Sakura or Cherry Blossom scent shower gel. I paid 551 for it. It's currently 559 and it is a 350 ml size bottle. It's supposed to be a gentle cleanser and it's supposed to leave your skin hydrated and moisturized and the scent is supposed to last a long time. I have gotten other cherry blossom stuff on there which if you have been around on my channel for a bit you probably remember <laughs> that I've hauled cherry blossom stuff before. Specifically this face serum. I absolutely love, love the smell of the face serum got it right here so this is it this stuff smells amazing in my opinion so I do buy other cherry blossom stuff this doesn't smell as good as that I mean it's fine but it's not it does, it's not as strong of a smell not that the other is strong but it's just not it's not the same and yeah I, I don't know if you can really see it's got little things suspended in it which I don't really know what that is <laughs> I don't know if the listing said what all those little bits were but anyway so it does smell okay it's just not as nice a cherry blossom scent as that face serum but I will use it and uh, hopefully it works well and leaves my skin smooth and moisturized the next item is this candy Bella setting powder it says it's clear honey purple glitter lifter gel. I paid $5.09. It is currently $5.51. And I bought this because I used the other Candy Bella um, setting powder or setting cream. But I thought I had one in there. And I really, really like it. 
but this one is purple and I thought it was really pretty. <laughs> so it comes in a similar case. It is like the silvery on the top. The bottom part looks clear. Actually, there's a one here. So this is my other one. And uh, as you can see, I, I really like it. <laughs> so anyway, I got this. <clears throat> Sorry. And it comes with a little purple puff for applying it. I couldn't tell for sure. Like when you look at the listings on Timu, they don't necessarily always list the ingredients very well or very there's not very accessible. So I was trying to figure out if it was the exact same as the other Candy Bella and just a different color for whatever reason. And I wasn't sure based on it, but I, I decided to go ahead and order it anyway because I figured if it was the same, you know, I really like it, so that's good. It's just more of it. And if it was something different, then it was a different product for me to try. It is the exact same. I have a the box here that lists the ingredients for this as well as I have one still in box of the other one and they are the exact same ingredients in the exact same order so they are identical this one does say in the listing about using it before any other makeup which I'm pretty sure the other didn't mention that but it does also say that you can use it on top of makeup so yeah it is the same it does feel like the same tech um, consistency as the other one so yeah it is it's the same it's just purple instead of blue both are nice. I kind of like the purple. <laughs> and you do get the same amount in both. So my last item to show you today is also probably the item that most of you probably could care less about. So that's why I left it to the end. But anyway, in case there's anyone still watching that is interested, the last item is a set of two router bits. So they come in little plastic containers for storing them. I paid $24.74 for the set of two. Currently it is $27.05 for the ones that I got, which have a half inch shank. It is also available with an eight millimeter shank. And those ones are currently $27.46. And these are rotor bits for making handrails. So my husband has been kind of doing some renovations and the handrail that we have going down to our basement is made of oak and it we just don't really like it. It's a very plain style. Not not that we like th like something fancy, but it's it's very much just kind of square. <laughs> so he got these because he's gonna make a new handrail out of maple. So he needed some bits for doing that. So he hasn't tried them yet. I will put probably put a little something note on the screen about how they were because he intends on going to use these tomorrow. So see how they work. He says based on just looking at them that they seem to be just as good a quality as any other rotor bits that he's ever bought. In. I mean, until he tries them, he wouldn't know that for absolutely sure. But as far as like just like a no name brand of rotor bits, they seem great, he says. He found a similar looking set on Amazon and on Amazon they were $80, whereas $24.74 is what we paid on Timu. And he said that if it was brand like name brand ones, they would probably run about a hundred and fifty bucks for this set of two. So I will, like I said, put a little note on the screen to let you know whether or not they worked well when he used them. And yeah, but so far, as far as his first impression of them, he thinks they seem great. So yeah. All right, so that is everything for today. I would like to say, seeing as this video will be going up on June 14th, I'd like to wish all the dads out there Happy Father's Day. I hope your family is going to spoil you this weekend. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed and if you're not subscribed, hit that button and subscribe and help me get to a thousand. 
So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of my subscribers. You uh, don't know what it means to me that I have people who enjoy my videos. It's uh, wonderful. So have a wonderful weekend and we will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.